In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four options infographic slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show you the first option. As you can see here, I've put the option one here with a post-it note and then this is uh, bind together with the help of a clip and then you can add the title, the detailed text and I've added some shadow effect here. When I click in a different color, it will show you the option two, option three and option four. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to any light grey color background then go to insert shapes from the rectangle select the rounded corner rectangle draw a rounded corner rectangle maybe this much size or if you want you can just increase or decrease from here also you can see here you can just decrease like this and then shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to fill this with white and you can see the small orange point just drag this outside so it becomes less curved then i'm going to insert one more rectangle now this time i'm going to select this rectangle draw a rectangle something like this shape outline no outline shape fill you can give any color of your choice i'm going to give pink and i'm going to rotate a little bit like this and i'm going to place it here then i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and i'm going to give a black color then right mouse click go to the format shape under fill increase the transparency okay so this one why i'm doing that one to give a shadow effect okay so i'm going to increase the transparency you can see here and then select this pink one right mouse click edit point you can see these four small points i'm just going to drag this a little bit inside all right then select this one and then send this to back all right so you can see here i have created this shadow effect again if you want more you can increase the transparency so the shadow effect got created then the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to add one small uh, rectangle so i'm going to choose this one rectangle top corner rounded draw a small rectangle at the bottom reduce the size shape outline no outline and give the same color which we have given here pink then go to insert text box i'm going to add the title here center align make it bold maybe you can reduce the size make sure it is in center then go to insert text box i'll say equals lorem within brackets one i don't want this much large text i'm going to delete it select this one center align reduce the font size and the font color i'm going to give a gray color and put it here and the next thing which I'm going to do is now is to add one clip here. To make the clip go to insert shapes, select this rounded corner rectangle, draw this like this and you can see the small orange point just drag this inside so it become fully curved. Then shape outline, make it no outline, shape fill I'm going to give say light color. Then press ctrl D to duplicate this one and then I'm going to give some darker color here. And then hold the shift key reduce the size a little bit and place it here you can see here there is a little gap it should be there between these two so select both of these shapes go to the shape format align center align middle then what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this one and only the border will be there okay for select the light color one then hold the shift key select this one merge shape and i'm going to make it subtract so i end up getting a shape like this then go to insert select one more rectangle here then select this one and this one and again subtract then i'm going to reduce the size something like this you can see here and give this a kind of a black color or any color of your choice i have to reduce the size further tilt a little bit and put it something like this all right so you can see here it looks like it is holding this particular small uh, the post-it note so once this is done the next thing which i'm going to go to insert shapes from the lines i'm going to select the freeform shape and i'm going to give a shadow effect for that i'm going to click here 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 
here and here just join this one it becomes like this shape shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it black increase the transparency if you want like this how much then send this to back all right or what you can do is we can select the gradient fill so i'm going to select the gradient fill only two stops i'm going to give one stop i'm going to give the background color the other stop i'm going to give the black color all right so you can see here and then let me just interchange i can i want something like this you can see here like this and then select this particular point or stop make it fully transparent you can see here and this one you can increase the size and like this we can reduce it and here also i can make the transparent so i got this shadow effect so now i'm going to select this one Control g to group it move it aside hold the Control shift key add the second one the third one and the fourth one then i'm going to select this all and then go to the shape format align distribute horizontally then it's very easy for me i'm just going to select this one and going to give some different color here you can see here here also i have to do the same i have to give the same color likewise you can just select and give some different color combinations you can see here i'm going to select this one and then you can select the other and give that one so it's so easy to do that one and make sure that control a move it in the center if you want you can add more options in the bottom also 